He wins all the money in the casino because of his photographic memory and counting cards. Watch as things unfold for this king of Vegas. In the beginning of the movie, Ben is being interviewed by a scholarship committee member. It is for a complete full-ride scholarship to Harvard Medical School, which Ben has already been accepted to, pending his graduation from MIT. Ben has a 4.0 GPA, got a 44 on his cats, is the president of a few clubs, and is working on a robotics project with his friends for the 2.0.9 science competition. Despite all of Ben's amazing qualifications, the interviewer tells Ben that 76 other applicants have just as amazing resumes. He tells Ben that he needs an outstanding life experience to make him dazzle. Ben pleads with the interviewer that there is no way he can afford to go to Harvard Med without this scholarship and that's the only thing standing in his way. In another scene, Ben and his best friend Miles are in a nonlinear equations class where Professor O'Reilly is posing a difficult question about game theory to the class. Ben dissects the question and answers it very well leaving O'Reilly stunned and impressed. He becomes interested in Ben. One night shortly after, Ben is studying in an empty library. Fisher comes to get him and tells Ben to follow him. They go to a classroom where we see the rest of the crew, which entails Kiana, Fisher, Joy and Jill, and Professor O'Reilly. They explain to Ben that they study counting cards and go to Vegas every weekend as a team to gamble and make money. They also infer that what they do isn't illegal and that they want Ben to join because of his gift with numbers. He turns them down, saying he has a job and cannot join them and a robotics project to work on. At Ben's workplace, a suit store, Jill with her gracious beauty comes by to ask Ben to join again, giving him numerous reasons to join, but he still persists with his answer. No. Ben goes home thinking about the tuition money that costs $300,000 for his med school. The next day, we see the secret card counting team practicing, where they are all answering Mickey's cards count questions wrong. Ben appears in the doorway and answers correctly. He joins the team. He learns the signs, symbols, method of counting, and all about what they do. They tell Ben he will have to go on a trial run. Later, Ben enters an underground gambling ring and he looks nervous. He goes to a hot table as he is signaled and starts to play. He is winning money, when all of a sudden a bag is put over his head and he is dragged out of the room by thugs, scared for his life, and was asked how many cards he counted. When he answers the question correctly, he freaks out when it is revealed it is the team, testing him. The team tells him he will be leaving with them for Las Vegas the next day. They all take a flight to Vegas, sneaking huge cash on the flight without being caught. Ben is stoked to see the city of Vegas as it is a life-changing experience for him. When they reach the hotel, they reminded themselves of the rules and most especially acting like they don't know each other. They all go to the casino as Ben becomes the big player and wins lots of money with his genius ability to count cards. The next morning Jill comes to Ben's as he wakes up being hungover from last night and brings him a cup of coffee, giving him his fair cut of the money he won, stating that he won more than they ever had. Back at home, Ben's mother offers him her life savings for med school, but rejects it, claiming he has gotten the scholarship which was an obvious excuse of a lie because of the hope that his big wins in the casino would pay off. The team continues going to Vegas each weekend making big wins. In another scene, we see Ben and Jill bonding and talking about a lot of personal issues, but he mistakes it for a share of affection and attempts to kiss her but she takes her head away. As the situation was awkward, the team splits the weekend winnings and after a while, Ben has saved over $160,000. When he is in Vegas the team goes out to celebrate a big win and he ends up in the hotel room with Jill and things went down in a slow jazz. Security at the casinos begin to recognize Ben and the team and see that they are losing money. Head security guy Carl is mad and is determined to catch him. Back at MIT, Ben has been ignoring his best friends, not telling them the reason he has been away during the weekends. They confront him and they get into an argument. He screws up their robotics project and he and his friends separate on bad terms. Going back to Vegas, Ben is obviously upset and instead of counting cards one night, he straight gambles. He loses $200,000 and O'Reilly is furious. O'Reilly screams at the group and tells them they will pay and they need to find their own way back to Boston. After Ben convinces them, the team decides to stay and win the money back without O'Reilly. We learn here that Ben has now saved over $315,000 but his priorities have changed and he is becoming greedy. The team decides to go on with their plan to win back the money without O'Reilly and keep it for themselves. However, in the middle of the job, we see O'Reilly did not leave Vegas but is watching them inside the casino. O'Reilly gets on the phone and calls Carl and rats out the team. 
Carl comes to get unsuspecting Ben, and the rest of the team runs away leaving him. Carl and other security take Ben to some kind of underground room where they beat him up till his face is bloody. The scene cuts out to Ben leaving the casino the next day bruised, black eye bloody. Ben goes back to Boston, and finds out that Professor O'Reilly is going to fail him in his course and he will not graduate, and therefore not be able to go to Harvard Med. Ben's room was raided and destroyed and all of his money taken. Ben goes to Jill's house, who never knew if he had made it alive out of the casino that night. He tells her he's lost everything and that he needs her help. She asks him when he will stop. In class, Ben makes a scene in his nonlinear equations class by pointedly asking about a physicist who stole his students' ideas and ruined their lives. O'Reilly tells Ben in the class there was no proof so no one will ever know what happened referring to their situation. O'Reilly states that he needs to check his black eye. Later Ben seeks out O'Reilly and tells him they need to talk and that he will work with him again and win back all the money together. O'Reilly agrees and the team sets out to Vegas one last time, where this time both Ben and O'Reilly will be counting cards to win and of course with disguises. They play for a while at the same table and are making lots of money when security shows up. They throw all their chips in a bag as fast as they can before security begins chasing Ben, O'Reilly, and the team through the casino. They get to a point where they need to divide and O'Reilly tells Ben to give him the chips. Ben is hesitant but gives him the bag, and O'Reilly runs away. Outside you see O'Reilly get into a limo and drive off heading for the airport, with a smile on his face. He has scammed Ben again. He stole all his money he had saved, and now all the money Ben made that night that was going to replace it. Ben and Jill get chased around the casino a little while longer then go outside onto the street. A flashback shows that Ben knew O'Reilly was going to try and scam him, so Ben traded the bag of chips for a different bag right after they were approached by security when gambling together. Ben and Jill have the bag of chips and O'Reilly have a bag of chocolate gold coins. Another flashback to when Ben was getting beat up by Carl. This time you hear a dialogue between Carl and Ben, that basically says Carl has been chasing O'Reilly for years and if Ben can get O'Reilly to the casino so Carl can capture him, then Ben can have one night of playing and keep all his winnings for himself without being bothered. Cut back to the street where Ben and Jill are, thinking they have made it home free after setting up O'Reilly and getting his night of unbothered winnings. Carl appears behind him and tells Ben to give him the bag of chips. Ben expresses disbelief and horror because he needs the money and has been through so much to get it. Carl tells Ben he knows it's unfair but that his dreams will work out if he uses his brains and finds a way. He demands the chips and shows Ben that he has a gun. Ben gives him the chips, and he and Jill walk away. Cut to the limo where O'Reilly is. Inside the front seat you see Carl's main security assistant and O'Reilly realizes he was set up by Ben. O'Reilly gets brought to the same basement room Ben was beat up in, and he is also strapped to the chair and beaten up. Ben attends his friend's 2.0.9 competition where they have participated without him, and won. After it is over we see Ben walking with Miles where he has just told him the entire story. Ben narrates the end where he explains that he helped Carl to get a pension his main concern for people stealing from the casinos and that his MIT friends turned out to be pretty good at counting cards too. We see them all in the casino wearing disguises and enjoying themselves playing the tables. Ben continues to tell the story and talks about how he admitted to his mom that he didn't get the scholarship. Ben stops talking and we see him sitting in the same scholarship interviewer's office as from the beginning. You realize that the movie was Ben telling him the entire story of winning money, getting it stolen, and being beaten up, his friendships, and his experience. Ben says, Now how is that for life experience, dazzling enough? The interviewer. An uptight man, literally has his jaw dropped to the floor and the scene cuts to Ben walking into a Harvard Med building. The end. If you enjoyed the movie, leave a like, subscribe, and comment on your thoughts about this movie. See you next time.